Hey there, and welcome to Brain Stuff. I'm Josh Clark, and this is the Brain Stuff where I explain to you whether or not plants are conscious, which is a pretty cool question. Have you ever seen that old classic Star Trek episode, A Wink of an Eye, where the Enterprise crew encounters this race of aliens that move so fast that by comparison, the Enterprise crew seems to not move at all? They're kind of like plants to these aliens. And just like in our reality, if you look at a plant in fast motion, you can see that it has a lot of lively movements. But are they really conscious? That is a great question. And it was first posed by a guy named Charles Darwin, who you may have heard of at some point in time. And he came up with the concept of the root brain. The idea behind this is that the tips of a plant's roots act as kind of a brain for it, accepting information from outside stimuli and telling the plant to act or move or do something as a reaction. Over time, this concept led to the field of what's called plant neurobiology, and that term drives other scientists crazy. But TS because this field of inquiry has yielded some pretty cool ideas about plants. For example, we know that plants have a lot of senses that are analogous to human senses like sight, smell, sound, touch, taste. Like when a plant senses that a caterpillar is eating one of its leaves, it will produce this kind of substance that's like a mustard oil to repel the caterpillar. The cool thing is, is that scientists have found when they play just the audio recording of a caterpillar, there's no caterpillar anywhere around by a plant the plant will still produce this mustard oil-like substance, which means that plants can hear in a way. That's pretty awesome, right? This chemical signaling thing appears in plants throughout nature. The smell of fresh cut grass is actually a signal to other grass plants that there is some sort of crazy danger afoot. What's going on? I don't know, but everybody duck. Now the reason some scientists hate the term plant neurobiology is that plants lack neurons hence they can't have a neurobiology. But this is kind of splitting hairs. Researchers have found that plants do have something that's like a central nervous system. They have glutamate receptors, just like we do. We use ours to form memories. They have neurotransmitters and they use electricity to transfer information throughout the plant to get it to move and react. And some scientists have found that when you give plants drugs, yes, some scientists give plants drugs, that it can actually have weird effects on the plant's central nervous system, like they're on drugs. Plants can also display learning behavior, which is another hallmark of consciousness. For example, the mimosa pudica plant has this cool defense mechanism where when it senses danger, it curls its leaves inward. But that requires a lot of energy. So the mimosa pudica plant has evolved to not curl its leaves when it deems the stimulus non-dangerous, right? Well, scientists found that when they drop the mimosa pudica plant, at first it'll curl its leaves. But after a few drops, it will figure out that the drop is not actually a threat and will learn to stop curling its leaves. Even more astounding is that these plants display some sort of memory because a month later, when they're dropped again, they still won't curl their leaves. It's not a novel experience anymore. The plants have learned. So are plants conscious? The jury's still out, but it's starting to look that way. So maybe when you hear that you're supposed to talk to your plants to get them to grow more, it's not actually because of the CO2 you're breathing out onto them. It's because they're reacting to being treated nicely. This was a great episode. I know you agree. And for even more great stuff, a universe of great stuff, go to How Stuff Works. You'll love it.